Good evening, Bulldog fans, and welcome to the Butler University Esports Park uh, here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, my name is Joe Kirkpatrick. With me is Jackie Sabnall. Uh, we are here to bring you all the action of tonight's matchup in the Nace Star League between the Butler Bulldogs and the University of Maryland College Park. It's going to be an exciting one. I definitely think so as well. I really think that these two teams have a lot to show for here, and I'm really excited to see what they do here. Absolutely. This is week five of the uh, round robin competition here in the regular season of the Nace Star League. Uh, that will culminate, as you see there at the bottom of the screen, uh, just announced this week uh, in the uh, grand finals, uh, both in Overwatch and in several other titles, hosted here, right here in this very facility, uh, the Butler Esports Park, April 29th through 30th. Uh, it's going to be quite the spectacle. It will be. I'm so excited to see all the teams coming down here for different titles and just seeing everybody that comes into the park, admires our new space, and plays some great games. Absolutely. This is the uh, inaugural year, obviously, this facility. Uh, has gotten to play host to lots of different events already this um, academic year, from the fall uh, Battle for Indiana tournament uh, to the uh, Big East tournament coming up here soon. Um, and again, NACE finals uh, here at the end of April. Super exciting stuff. Um, but like we said, th that's getting ahead of us a little bit. Uh, right now, we've got this matchup. Um, for Overwatch tonight. What kinds of things are you looking for um, it to help set the stage here? Help set the stage. I want to see a dive comp ran. That's about it. I am a dive comp lover, and I just really want to see some teams play dive, especially now in this day and age of a one-man tank. It's, what more can you ask for? Absolutely. You see some uh, action there out on the floor here at, uh, again, at the Esports Park. Uh, it's Tuesday night. We got a basketball game uh, going on, but uh, we can see how dedicated our, our student base is. Uh, here we got several teams competing tonight, including Overwatch, um, and, and enjoying some time. Uh, you can see our, our team uh, getting set up here on the stage. Uh, there's Brian in front. Yeah, they are. Uh, <laughs> they're hyped. That's a good thing, because uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite the match tonight. It's gonna be uh, pretty high stakes here for the Bulldogs tonight. Uh, again, play, facing the University of Maryland, so we get into a little bit of some of the background here with the league. Um, again, we, we are competing in a regular season format here to start, um, and this is week five. Um, Butler currently has a two and two record uh, after some close losses to uh, James Madison University and to the. Um, to uh, Harrisburg University, uh, potentially not as close, but that was our last stream uh, here from this facility. Uh, Maryland, meanwhile, uh, Terps Esports, 4-0, uh, currently tied for first with Harrisburg in this division, um, with with some close wins, including uh, uh, you know with some of the teams we play closely as well. Um, so it's, it's definitely an exciting one uh, with lots of playoff uh, potential here too. Because uh, by my calculations, Jackie, uh, winner, you know. Butler's got a win to, to stay alive here. And hopefully they do. They've been working really hard during the season as well as during the offseason. A lot of training going on, a lot of practices, lots of scrims, and I'm very excited to see how far this team gets. Absolutely. Um, yeah, <laughs> so you know, these are the kind of stakes we're looking at. Uh, it's going to be a competitive series. It's going to be a high-stakes series, uh, and those are the kind of ones uh, we want to show off here for you, to, here for you guys tonight. Um, as we can uh, be talking a little bit about, about our map set too, as we um, start getting set into, uh, as, as you know, they start getting the game put together here. Uh, we can get into our map set a little bit uh, because this is a best of five series. Uh, so first uh, team to win three maps wins, um, but we're gonna start with a control map. Talk to us about that. Uh, first map, Oasis. Very, very exciting stuff here. Um, definitely one of a favorite maps. I guess, in the terms of uh, Butler's favorite map to play on, Control, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, got a new uh, a new coat of paint here, too, with the launch of Overwatch 2, obviously, uh, shifting from the evening time to uh, the day. Uh, but hopefully that means, um, you know, Butler's outlook here is all the brighter, as far as that goes. Absolutely. But you can see here our uh, map set is going to be control, then hybrid, escort, push, and then another control to settle out if there is a map five. Absolutely, which we'd all like to see, right? As far as that goes, um, excuse me, it's gonna be gonna be a great one for sure. Uh, again, as we're waiting for both teams to get ready, it looks like um, it may be just a little bit, but um, 
Uh, de definitely exciting stuff. As we, we will be rolling in with our uh, typical starting roster here. Uh, again, this the roster that you would have seen uh, in the uh, Harrisburg match a couple weeks ago as well, uh, with Bubbles on the tank, our DPS line of Nashi and Payne, uh, as well as Turtle and Intrepid Cash on support, as we are uh, about ready to jump in. And I believe that uh, Bjorn to be wild is also uh, on the DPS lineup for today as well. Good call, good call. <laughs> yep. All the greater. We got big roster here, big team, big match. Very excited to see where it goes, and we will just be a bit until the first map starts. Absolutely, because they are in-game. Uh, so we'll be taking you to that shortly as we got just a few seconds uh, as the, the first initial hero picks come out. Uh, looks like we'll be starting on uh, Oasis University, uh, which, you know, as, a, as far as the sub-map goes, uh, can get a pretty uh, unique perspective. Absolutely, Joe. You really can favor some some of those rush compositions. Uh, we see the Reinhardt coming out from Maryland already, uh, matched at least for now by the uh, Ramantra from Bubbles. Um, th but uh, definitely uh, more, so more characteristic of this map for sure. Yep, for sure. And I was really hoping to see a Reinhardt coming from the side of Butler here. However, Hello. that Ramantra is too strong at the moment. Cool. Oh yeah, I was watching him warm up. Uh, the comp game they played, he won. So you know, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> uh, the quick CP out from Swan here. Uh, from Butler, as again, this is jockey for position here in the of the full map. Booking uh, your both on the side in the middle of the Mantra uh, with Reinhardt taking some early advantage and the Sergeant uh, kill on Kiriko. Uh, <laughs> taking up some sports here pretty quickly. Um, but again, this is the brawl here on the side until so one team is able to uh, gather some control. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, Merlin uh, you're picking up the base here. Absolutely, we saw Liu on the bay get three just to start out, and that Kiriko pick, unfortunately, for the side of Butler. Not looking good for Intrepid Cash so far. Yeah, she has the kind of sustain that you really need uh, to last long in these fights, particularly these initial fights, as Marilyn does get that first control capture. Obviously, uh, first team to 100 will win. Already nice and slice here as well. Butler's going to be engaged. Oh, and this is the main wall blocking off immediately. That's going to really separate uh, Bubbles there on the Ramatra uh, from some of his support. Unfortunately, that's going to slow down the attack a little bit. Uh, that being said, uh, again, trading close here. We see the Able Hell is going to from Maryland. Uh, and eliminated here by the Reaper, uh, but they uh, have been able to uh, give them a big round a little bit as they're sort of trading these abilities there from Maywall again. Um, uh, but in the meantime, Butler's almost been able to get this capture point, and there it is. There it is. However, we've got something very, very low here. Uh, almost close to the Mantra Ultimate. Yeah, that'll be exciting to see. You know, it's, it's a, a, a great uh, uh, team, uh, team killing ultimate, uh, 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 capture point clearing ultimate as we can see. Up here. Uh, but for now, again, Bubbles holding on. Uh, there's the uh, Annihilation coming out. Uh, again, to try to secure some last kills and to make sure the Bubbles can hold up their percentage all the way up to 0.2% of the uh, Just left to match Maryland here. Uh, so they're really going to look low, but of course, a uh, couple kills there. Uh, that may be the end of that uh, capture. Yeah, that seemed a little bit too late because we set of Bubbles there. Three members of the Butler squad had already fallen by the time that he was already left alone on the point. He's too late. Absolutely, it's a it's a it's a calculation. Oh, but the the uh, uh, railgun headshot that's gonna uh, set him back a little bit here for Butler. Uh, as I was saying, it's a, a calculation here. You're trying to balance uh, how many resources you're gonna put into this this uh, unlock capture point versus um, he, or in order to build up some some percentage versus come back and try to get more uh, As we can see here, uh, Butler on the uh, aggression again. Uh, but again, this may want to Device of pretty, uh, providing the team. There's the uh, uh, support ults coming up from both sides here. Uh, as you can see, addressing back and forth from the Trump Cash. There's the sound barrier as well from Turtle being an uh, answer. Uh, and really back and forth despite uh, Butler having some. Oh, there's, there's the kills coming in finally. Here it is. A lot of ultimate teams from the side of Butler, however. Uh, Death Bottom, the Beat, or the Sound Barrier, and then the Kirko, uh, DNA Rush. Absolutely, used both of those. It was, it was an expensive fight for sure. Uh, but again, Maryland uh, held so far at 80% as Butler creeps up towards 50. Uh, this is still really back and forth, and that's the kind of exciting match we're going to see. Absolutely. You also see that there's only one ult online for both. Uh, about, about one ult online for both teams here. The Ramacha Annihilation ult coming out of the end. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, we may see this come out uh, here in these picks, but again, with the 
ball in the cast there. Uh, Merlin may not decide that the necessary is this fight continue to play out. Uh, Bubbles are really busy in the work. Uh, he's from the tank. I've been uh, watching a lot of him, but the, the ways in which he's able to do this is very successful. Um, then, yeah, Blizzard Con trying to get some food, but at the same time, they answered with a couple kills, including with the tank kill there uh, on uh, the Maryland team. This is really back and forth. And again, the longer this fight goes with Bubbles in control, uh, the more it really plays into their favor. Uh, of the ticked up only to 85%. Yep, already see that lead of the wall for the other squad. However, they are still waiting on their Ramach for the respawn there. Yeah, that's definitely going to be rough as it looks like the Rose Shadows come out uh, to finally get the secure cap. Uh, but we do have Butler in uh, sort of the last fight territory. If they can get, um, and really have to get uh, a flip here quickly as uh, Maryland is taking up as well, um, if, if they're able to do so. Well, oh, here, that table. Yeah, they, that may be uh, very well a uh, round winning uh, Maywall there as now uh, again Butler's sort of in desperation but they've got to touch this point trigger overtime here before uh, the time goes up. But unfortunately the kills keep coming through. It looks like the Lucy would just barely managed to touch uh, but it's not enough to really make any kind of foothold. Uh, 196 there for that first round. Very close uh, sub map. Definitely a very close sub map already. Uh, just to start things off, we've already got a 96 to 100. We've got Butler taking most of the control there for a little bit uh, until the unfortunate fall due to the old economy and everything that's been going on in that. However, we do see a little lineup change here from both sides. Yeah, <laughs> switching to the uh, ball there from Wutai and the Winston from Bubbles as we move over obviously to uh, Oasis Gardens. Uh, certainly play a little bit differently, um, but I, I do I do like the Lucio there. Uh, as we do see, uh, moving away from the May a little bit uh, as well, all of a sudden not as um, not as beneficial, not as uh, significant on this kind of sub map where it's much more open. Absolutely, and we do seem like we're having a monkey mirror match in here. Absolutely. It's a good day for uh, <laughs> yeah. instant overwatch. Tank variety is the spice of life. Uh, you know, he, he jump, he's at the vault. Uh, there, will be, there will be no nabbing, however. Uh, we won't have any on the field. Uh, but unfortunately, that is Bubbles with the first kill. Uh, <laughs> with, with the the, the Winston v. Winston there. Um, and unfortunately, again, that'll, that'll delay Butler's, uh, you know, attack here initially. Uh, looks like they will go ahead and give up the control. Absolutely, and now I'm wondering to see if uh, Bubbles will make any switches, but it does not seem like there's going to be any switches coming up anymore. There. Ooh, and the Lucio Pumpkin uh, tried try to disrupt the Winston dive there. Uh, definitely you know, resulting in some uh, uh, less positioning, but the, the traits are following the paint. Super excellent to take down the Winston. Uh, and again, now it's sort of the reverse of this last fight, right? We saw the, the Winston dive first uh, here from both sides, and as they continue to trade, it looks like Butler is uh, having a little bit of uh, foothold here, but of course the bubble Bubbles really got to stay up. Uh, not unfortunately able to do. Ooh, the and, you know, low HP Winston. There's yeah. no living through that. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no. Yeah, that looked like it was going to be really good, uh, obviously, uh, you know, for Bubbly there. But yeah, you got to keep your tanks up just for the for the presence of the, the ways in which, uh, you know, you have to hang on to that, uh, uh, hang on to that presence there on the point. Uh, as again, Bubbly's still on the outside looking at. Yeah, absolutely. And here we got to re-engage here. Yeah, give him a blast. And actually, uh, in the chaos, Butler actually does pick up the capture. Uh, so now, now your game plan changes uh, very much. You know, this is a dying point kind of situation here for Triple Lucio. Uh, unfortunately, not the last one, I would think. Um, but you know, Butler will take within the 10% that they that they have here at this point. Um, as uh, this, is, this, is, this is a numbers game. This isn't a this isn't a uh, death match. Absolutely correct. There. Uh, we do have uh, two ults here. Uh, two ults here coming on the side of Butler and. Three coming for the, or four actually here coming for the side of Maryland. Uh, how do you think these fights are going to play out here? Yeah, this is going to be a really heavy ultimate fight. We've got almost nine ultimates here on the field, uh, and we'll have the full bomb. Let's see, obviously, uh, going to build it really quickly as we see uh, he's trading out Kiriko abilities, he's trading out uh, the uh, continue rush, the sound barrier probably come out uh, on the respective sides. Uh, there's the railgun, unfortunately, uh, but no kills here at this point for speed, but uh, the progress continues. Uh, Bubbles holding on to the uh, primal range of the piece and use it for uh, durability, but of course he's closing this, that's the same thing. Uh, again, Absolutely, there's a pick onto the pumpkin on the base, yeah, probably. Here's a little cash, oh, those are getting traded out here, Bubbles is kind of just having his way. And 
Uh, meanwhile, Maryland's gotten up to 99% of the chaos. Again, you know, with, with their uh, sync control, you know, the longer uh, the spike goes on, the better it is for them. Uh, unfortunately, uh, a recall potentially issue there for the pain. Uh, Butler down a, a player, uh, a couple of support ultimates later. Uh, it's going to be tricky. Uh, but again, Butler at least temporarily with an over advantage on the point as the uh, continue to rest out as well. Yeah, the overtime is still taking it down, but oh, Bubbles oh, not quite Bubbles able, not able to touch to again. Touch there. Uh, that went, I would have loved to see that extend just a few uh, few minutes longer. <laughs> you know, that's a long time, but. Uh, uh, but yeah, that was super exciting as we see the uh, play of the game coming out from Musai on the Reinhardt. Uh, definitely an exciting match against this. Uh, Earth Shatter coming in there from that first round, but. Uh, uh, really, uh, I don't know. As as this map, that we sort of set it up, uh, is can really often be a tale of, of different sub maps in terms of we saw a lot of the May uh, and the ways in which that was able to be effective for Maryland in the first round, um, and then in the second round, um, really it was all about the the opposing dives. Absolutely, we saw that on the side of Maryland, Lou was making the di was the difference maker there, in my opinion. However, that second map showed a tale of two tanks, honestly. The Winston v. Winston against Bubbles and Moose High. Told a very, very compelling story. But. Yeah, it was um, definitely interesting to, to you know look at that, di that uh, dynamic, obviously, with the shift. Uh, in Overwatch 2, like you had alluded to, to one tank, uh, the ways in which uh, the the team resources get, get distributed, uh, the ways in which the, the coordination of, of these kinds of uh, dive-esque uh, compositions um, play out is really uh, you know all the more important as far as that goes. Absolutely, and our next map will be King's Row on that hybrid. What are your thoughts on uh, the King's Row pick here from the side of Butler? As we're uh, you know they're they're jumping right into it. We'll shift to it here shortly. But um, but yes, yeah, so the the difference here uh, again this this King's Row map. If you compare uh, Oasis University to the uh, Oasis Gardens we just looked at, is going to play much more like University in terms of the kind of compositions we'll see. Uh, I fully expect uh, to see the May coming through again in, in some form uh, there from Blue that was so effective. Uh, and so it's really going to be down to see how um, Butler's able to address it here in this, again, sort of uh, close quarters focused, uh, rush kind of focused map. Absolutely. And this is another map that I hope to see that Reinhardt pop off on. That is what I am looking for. That's just such a Reinhardt map, in my opinion. Uh, maybe that's just nostalgia talking out of me. However, both tanks here from both sides are kind of hinting at it, teasing at it a little bit. Oh yeah, and obviously we've got we've got a little bit of time here uh, before uh, Maryland on their attack. Uh, Butler playing on the defense uh, before Maryland finalizes their roster here. Uh, I doubt we'll see the Bastion, for example, coming out. Um, but uh, nevertheless, yeah, the Ryan v. Ryan definitely going to be exciting to see, uh, you know, how this uh, ends up coming out. But what interests me here is the Twerp pick. What about that? The Twerp pick from the game is an interesting one, to say the least. However, we can see what a good Twerp looks like. We can see the oppressiveness that the Twerp can have in terms of teams wanting to ride. That run that full engage, that full fledged engage. We've already seen Bubbles with the 22% ult charge there with two fire strikes to treat. That was a crazy fire strike. Uh, and you know, that's, you know, <laughs> you gotta take those steps, you know, right there at the beginning of the round. Uh, as again, like Merlin trying to make their approach here on this capture point. Uh, trying to unlock the payload and uh, proceed from here the map. Uh, but he's gotta start with his engagement. They won't come up again. Uh, trying to divide the other uh, the team, but not quite succeeding. Uh, the Torbjorn trade does go down with the kills so far again on your side, as it's the Reinhardt just swinging away. Um, excuse me, before anything happens, uh, that's the immortality field out and down, and the Cassidy finally even falling uh, here for Butler. As is the Reinhardt here, and the team will just have to back up here instead of Butler. And I'm telling you, that big, that may play is just super impressive inside of Butler here. Yeah, it, the, uh, you know, I'm sure that's it's not the, the only factor here, but the ability to uh, separate again. We talked about the story of the tanks, separate the tank from the uh, support that it's able to receive, uh, and the, as well as the rest of the team for coordination, those kind of things. It really has a big impact on the ways, um, uh, you, the ways um, when Bubble is able to operate. Absolutely. And you can see here, the Earth Shatter game, the battle of two tanks once more. That bubbles are very close to the earth shatter. However, any more ta er, uh, any indication that they're coming out of the side of the And the main ball in, and that is just the top of the out of the Yeah, 
the, the combination of the aim matrix and the, the main wall means you've got to run, uh, but there is nowhere to run, unfortunately, uh, with, with a couple kills there. Uh, you know, in the meantime, uh, like we talked about, Bubbles had built his Earth Shatter uh, that's now been um, bashed here by Moose High. Uh, and I had uh, mentioned, you know, I, I joked about the Bastion, but uh, they've been running it. They uh, have been <laughs> running it. Two ults on the side here, maybe coming up to three here with Moose High's Earth Shatter, and almost every single ult online here for the side of Butler. <laughs> Yeah, as we talked uh, this last map about a big old fight, I think we've definitely got one coming up for two as uh, Halo approaches. Uh, point number two, there's the continue rush coming out. Uh, oh, Blizzard coming out from the blue here. No blows and blows is changed. However, nobody falls with that paywall. Super Speed gets free. Yeah, the, the, 3K, the 3k with the uh, Bastion ultimate. Uh, you know, the, with the buffs that the characters received, you know, it comes down uh, even quicker than it used to. Uh, really hard to dodge sometimes, but that is going to be the cap, uh, the escort point captured here for Maryland as they uh, now shift their focus to you know running it in. And I see that Bjorn to be wild has already swapped on that jump rack. That's not a character we've seen very often here, especially in these types of matches we see with Butler. It's not, but when you combine that with the uh, uh, amplification matrix, it uh, can really be devastating both against Reinhardt Shield and against the main wall. Uh, I'd be really interested to see how they're able to, to how they're able to employ those, uh, you know, character relationships there. Uh, I don't know if that's a direct swap, but it, it certainly could be effective for Butler, as, again, uh, they, they're uh, trying to defend uh, this press now for almost five minutes. Absolutely, and here's the amplification matrix coming out on the side of here. Absolutely, Malkin bubbles there, getting caught out of that main wall. And there's still two ults on the side of yeah, and, and we keep we keep mentioning this main wall. Uh, you know the the play uh, with the tank, and you don't want to sound like a broken record. Uh, but I also I also don't want to uh, uh, you know, I want to point out this isn't, isn't necessarily Bubbles' fault either. I, I don't consider these plays super far ahead necessarily from this team. Uh, it's, it's more of just the the ways in which the interaction between these heroes um, can can definitely be effective as we get this uh, fight here uh, happening at the last point. Uh, Bubbles coming out of the Ramatra rather than the Reinhardt uh, has uh, made that switch uh, and got a little bit to, to drive Merlin away. Uh, they sort of abandoned the point for now uh, while they uh, build this up. But but yeah, it's, uh, like I said, nothing with all the bubbles here. Uh, actually, they just got to find a way to the rest of the main. Bastion got any kill credit there in the kill feed, but uh, that's a team kill there at the end. Uh, they're going to run it in. Uh, our Maryland with just under three and a half minutes left in their time bank. Absolutely. And goodness, Maryland has just been rocking with that May, and it's been working out for him. I'm very curious to see how Butler is going to respond to this with that knowledge. Absolutely. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, now we're going to switch sides. Uh, everything, the exact same thing happens again, but uh, Butler gets their attack. Uh, Maryland will be on the defense as they try to uh, match this map completion here all the way to 70.3 meters. Um, um, it, yeah, we've gotten to see a lot of Butler on the defense, uh, obviously, so far this series. Uh, we haven't seen uh, very much of their attack, or at least, um, uh, you know, from the, from the control maps. It's been uh, lots of back and forth. Uh, so we'd be really interested to see what kind of strategy they end up putting together. Um, and it looks like uh, lots of double spam, or at least potentially. Yep, third season that double spam here with the Hans over the Junkrat Butler. Hello. And I mean, as a support player, I hate playing against good Hans over the Junkrats. Uh, However, God, what are they you're on the side of Maryland. <laughs> Positioning is going to be crucial here for you. <laughs> Is that Absolutely, yeah. Between is between the right shield and the main wall, you know, those are uh, definitely yes. things you want to watch out for. But uh, you know, the, the ways in which these these characters really can uh, cover simple. cover corners and angles that you're not expecting, um, be definitely worth paying attention to. Uh, sure, for, for, for turf esports, uh, as we see the uh, uh, Kiriko and the Baptiste uh, uh, not answered on each other's sides too. Absolutely, we see in Trevor Cash switch over to Alicio and turn switch over to that Kiriko. Very different from what we've seen all night. And with Bubbles and Rock and Rock and Roll and Yeah, he's getting in a position where he can get some good smoke out with a uh, really excellent range weapon. Really, and, uh, that's really the, uh, the, the tank for Moose Eye for us. Very, very low. Unfortunately, not that here to get the kill that uh, Ocali killed. He was all very effective. But 
Uh, nevertheless, that's really allowed Butler to get some good purchases point all the way up to uh, half of the way captured as the removed trip to the hotel by the uh, junk rat by the Hanzo. Uh, and only now stepping back. Getting a kill there from Kingdom Junk Rat, taking out Blue, a key player here for the out of the turn. And that's gonna be the point. I don't that's think they're gonna touch. Point. Yeah. The, Ooh, and Speed falls as well. Speed gets two. Yeah, with the uh, yeah, the collateral. That's uh, not exactly what you're gonna see. Uh, for a while, it looked like Moose High was gonna get trapped, but unfortunately, with uh, he's got some support up, up to rescue him after those uh, couple kills. You, you, you like to get those back if you're Butler, but at the same time, that's a first point capture, uh, and that's some progress here on the payload. Absolutely, and it seems that Maryland's not taking this very aggressively, taking this fight aggressively until all of the members of their squad are back. However, Butler's pushing that payload. They do not get who they are. They're that payload, so they make that progress, and maybe even setting the tempo for how they want to play this game. And here comes the Amp Matrix from the wall. Absolutely, but just gotta give that a lot of uh, respect. Obviously, you see them move back away from the payload. Um, um, they, you know, when they come in, they can come in with the Annihilation. They can come in with the Kitsune Rush. I'd love to see popped uh, here for the ultimate. Um, which they, we may yet see that, but yeah, this, in fact, there is the Kitsune Rush uh, trying to recapture this point. Uh, here, but that is a shatter on the side of the curves. However, no members of Butler Squad can fall. You still got two ultimate bottles on the line here for. Uh, Bubbles with the Annihilation, uh, going to be wild with that, uh, Dragon Strike. However, Pain does fall to the Beef Fire. Yeah, uh, back and forth here a little bit for the, for the, uh, two pieces here. The Annihilation does get popped, uh, as they oh trade out the, the, the Junkrat. Bubbles gets two there, just walking onto the back line. A, a little bit aggressive there from Bubbles, uh, but, you know, got some kills, but unfortunately not, uh, much, uh, payload distance here, uh, traded for it, uh, as they're, uh, just approaching four minutes here in the time bank. Um... We do see Speed swap onto that photo from the, uh, Junkrat there, and... You want to be wild, switching on to that Cassidy. Yeah, it suddenly becomes uh, much more pressing on um, uh, heroes like the Cassidy, heroes like the Ramatra, uh to really address that Widowmaker. Uh, things in her face, uh, you know, keep the, the pressure on, uh, so she's not able to, to do what she wants uh, here in this, in this team matchup. But... Ooh, and then Lou falls, and Gordy Be Wild gets high, and the rest of the turn to spawn here. Very, very good engage there from the side of the Bulldogs. Absolutely, as we were worried about the Widowmaker, uh, you know, the important fight there was definitely happening on the point. It looks like Paul's not going to make it around that corner. Uh, the, the, yeah, once, you, once you're able to start collapsing like that, they, uh, the May Blizzard came out, uh, but able to, to pull back and collapse right back in as they're uh, here almost at the point. Looks like they're going to have a good fight here. Uh, right the point. Absolutely, a meter and 65 left onto this point to have that second point. However, boost high on that ball is being an impressive force not allowing that to happen. However, the, the dogs are able to get two. Yeah, yeah good rip tire uh, coming out from Kane. It doesn't have to be big, it just has to get some kills. Uh, as they trade back and forth again, not quite able to get them. It's very, very close. Uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, the just just one from the point has been driven back and by the sound barrier. Uh, shooting, 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 obviously. Um, and it looks like... Uh, it looks like Bubbles has to back Yeah. However, Bubbles keeps engaging. The, the, I, not a lot of his team members are there with him. Yeah, at this point, I guess you're building up some ult charge, um, but, but it's definitely going to take another push, it looks like, to get uh, all these heroes brought together. Uh, but in the meantime, we do have uh, several tests. We'll have the Annihilation, uh, that's uh, you know, very likely to, to resolve in the uh, point cap just from there, if you're able to, get, to you know, capitalize on your tank, play well enough, uh, but as well as the Continue Rush and the uh, Deadeye. Absolutely, and we also see Speed here in that Born to be Wild pick of Cassie here, and I'm curious to see how that'll bear out. I think what they have to watch out for right now is who's high on the uh, wrecking ball. I don't think uh, they had spotted him quite yet, but there he's caught in the trap. Uh, the minefield does come out. Um, yeah, that's, that's close. And unfortunately, you know, the, the kills the kills were made, but um, the, you know, the awareness was good. Uh, and more importantly, Butler does hang on to their ultimate. Absolutely. We are coming up to that sound barrier on the side of uh, Butler with Lucio. Uh, We've got the computer rush, however, a minute 24 left here on the clock, and that payload is moving back slowly but surely. Yeah, uh, it's you know still one fight territory, uh, but Butler sort of pulls around the side, or they're considering it, uh, trying to get a, a different angle here, uh, potentially some kind of sideways uh, dead eye potentially. Uh, 
But again, this fight here with just a minute left. There's the there's Kasumi Rush coming out. Rush and the Annihilation. There's the bubbles here too? Uh, yeah. However. Kasumi Rush tried to there come up with the Dead Eye. There's the Annihilation. Really trying to clear out this point. Uh, does the sound barrier return? Obviously, the Annihilation has a time limit now uh, where it didn't use to. So that's uh, definitely uh, one of the drawbacks is only now when the kills keep coming through. We saw the implication figures coming through. We saw the uh, Blizzard there from uh, Turf Esports. And all of a sudden, Butler's looking at uh, 30 seconds here. 30 seconds on the clock and two ultimates on the side of the Bulldogs. We have the Riptire coming from Pain and the uh, Lucio B coming out from Intrepid Cash. And the only time. thing that the Turps have got right now is potentially an Earth Shatter here from Intrepid. Yeah, uh, still definitely a good position to be in if you are in Maryland. Um, you really gotta make your sort of around the corner and try to keep put in. Uh, 10 seconds at this point, it's a it's a game to see who's gonna touch. It looks like it may be Lucio coming around the side. Uh, but five seconds left in the clock, and yet Earth Shatter coming from the blue sky is yeah. not enough to keep in trust on the cash alive. However, the overtime goes off. But... Yeah, that, that's the that's the team kill there at the end. The uh, tactical crouching there. Uh, that's on the stream move side. Don't worry. Um, as we are here now at the end of the map um, with uh, Maryland taking that three to one, uh, almost three to two there. Uh, but that's that's the end of that round. You see the uh, play of the game there from Steve and Sebastian. That 3K on uh, Maryland's attack. Absolutely. I'm really curious to see how this map will go from the side of Butler. How do you respond after knowing what they run, what they play? Yeah. Um, the definitely an interesting map. But really close. Uh, I really liked to see the ways in which Butler was able to uh, make that transition. Uh, composition wise, um, uh, to to address the May that we highlighted already, um, obviously you know there are all kinds of factors going in uh, to those compositional changes. But um, pulling in the Junkrat, pulling in the Hanzo, uh, changing the way they think about the Romantra, um, those are exactly the kinds of things you want to see uh, as you know uh, the match continues. We continue to make uh, adjustments and improvements. Absolutely, I'm really curious to see how this Butler squad will respond to the May that's been kind of been the cause of their downfall so far. But I, I have confidence in the dogs here tonight um, to make those changes and play like the team they should be. Absolutely, uh, and I want to highlight some contrast too between um, the uh, the uh, few maps we saw again about two weeks ago against uh, Harrisburg University versus um, the the couple maps we've seen here so far because uh, we've really seen a lot more. Um, a lot, lot more aggression from Butler, from Butler. A lot more um, footholds they've been able to take. Uh, some, some much closer fights, obviously. Uh, and while obviously you know several of these have have fallen the way of Maryland, um, this has definitely been a definitely been an improvement, I think, from from a couple weeks ago. Absolutely. Um, I can just see this team learning every single match in and out. I can see this team just growing to improve, growing to learn, and implementing that within their gameplay. Which is super excellent, as it looks like we'll be uh, uh, taking here just a pause, uh, at least in the gameplay. Uh, we'll still join you here uh, from the park, but a little bit of a pause uh, for the NACE broadcast. We're going to stay alive because that's how we do it here at the Butler Esports Park. That's how we roll. Um, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as we head into, uh, we, we do uh, have the ability to see here, our, our third map will be Dorado, the uh, escort map. Um, uh, how is that going to be different? Uh, how could that be different yeah, here for Butler going into map three? From what I can see, Dorado is a map of high ground. That high ground control will be your best friend, and I just I just can see a Widowmaker coming out from either side. It's just going to be super exciting to see a Battle of the Widows. Hopefully that's what we can get. However, taking control of that high ground is crucial on Dorado. You can see it on every single choke point, even the first choke. Like, just walking out of spawn doors you've got high ground to worry about all over capping first point high ground it's just the battle of high ground and just to see who can take control of that maintain that and use it to their advantage absolutely we've seen already that's been um, you know that, that's been that's been an issue for early that's been something that they they worked with there through uh, oasis gardens um, as well as some of those uh, initial uh, I mean, not even really initial the the initial attacks on King's Row, but particularly Oasis Gardens, we saw uh, that high ground interaction uh, there on the capture point. Uh, we'll certainly see a lot of that uh, here again on Dorado, also, uh, as well as uh, you know, again, 
I, you know, I hate to draw uh, too many comparisons to this past match we streamed. Uh, but again, we, this was the math we played third uh, when they played against Harrisburg. That's uh, what we're going to run into here. Uh, you know, you mentioned uh, sometimes the 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 uh, defense position right there at the at the spawn can be difficult. Uh, I, I definitely anticipate some some better breaking through. Uh, I'm sure that's something that Butler went back and reviewed here over the last couple of weeks, uh, and again through the, you know the rest of their composi competition that they've already had, uh, including Michigan Tech. But um, uh, the, you know the, the the ways in which that transition has happened uh, definitely be interesting to see. Absolutely, I'm very excited to see this next map in Dorado. I'm curious to see if there are going to be any any you know composition changes here from the side of Butler. Maybe heroes we haven't even seen from any of these characters yet. Yeah, one thing I'd uh, definitely like to hang on to would be the uh, Kiriko here from Butler's support line. Uh, we've seen, I believe, uh, both of our support players play this at least uh, at one point uh, here in the series. Uh, but the the ways in which they've been able to uh, be really impactful in here with the protection Suzu, uh, with the, the pocket healing, uh, again, particularly for bubbles there on the tank roll, has been super effective, um, as we can see there, uh, you know, sitting, uh, getting ready, uh, taking a little break here uh, between rounds. Um, uh, but, but, but that's one thing I'd like to, to see them hang on to for, for sure. Absolutely. It should just be a few minutes here until we get into this map three. And I'm very, very happy with um, with the vibes tonight in the park. Oh yeah, the full house again. Uh, as we've got uh, um, you know, basketball games wrapping up now, so people will be coming to join us. Uh, we we definitely appreciate it. Um, as it looks like, uh, in the meantime, we have uh, launched into the map. We are headed into map three, and. Um, uh, as we t as we take some time to set up, I'm really interested to see again, uh, you know, what kind of strategies we see from it looks like uh, Butler on the defense initially, uh, whether that's going to be you know some of that uh, long range hit scan you talked about, uh, or whether uh, they are going to really take it up, to, um, you know, play in their face. Absolutely, Joe. Looks like we're going to be running on a more. Well, I have always wondered what it is like. Yeah, the pulling out the Wrecking Ball, this is a hero we haven't seen much of this series, uh, really from either team, uh, with the exception of uh, Maryland there at the sort of second half of their King's Road defense. Um, obviously super mobile, obviously, uh, you, you know, super disruptive. Uh, excuse me, super disruptive here for heroes. Um, uh, but, you know, sometimes in, in this kind of situation, you know, that's exactly what you want to see. Um, you know, when it comes to the, the kind of high ground and the verticality this map has. Absolutely, and it looks like we're not going to be getting any super long range hit scan here. However, there is a. Never mind, there is a Widowmaker on the side of uh, the Terps here. There's a Widowmaker on the field and a Doomfist on the field. I'm really interested to see how uh, you know these tank interactions are going to happen. Uh, so that's a Widowmaker dive coming out really quickly. Unfortunately, not quite able to get the kill is Bubbles. Uh, but you know, bringing uh, speaking very low on the Widowmaker, still not quite healed uh, as he is able to retreat into the spawn room. Uh, but really, that's the kind of disruption we want to see. Um, you know, keep keep uh, Maryland on their toes. Don't allow them to uh, get the kinds of positions that they're interested in getting. As we do see a fight coming in. Absolutely, Joe. And one thing I can really see is more of a you know, personal observation is that bring them to the for the set of closer. I have not seen that in such a hot minute. Yeah, yeah, the, the brings in for sure. Uh, we saw the the dive come in on Pumpkin on the Ana, uh, but unfortunately not uh, quite able to uh, to uh, uh, finish to, to to solidify that dive as actually led to Bubbles' death uh, as Maryland is continuing to push the point a little bit further. Um, and with the Zen down too, it looks like they may be able to have one final stand here, sort of at the point of uh, the uh, sort of courtyard battle uh, now between these two teams. After the swap from Widow, uh, make it four. Uh, that's going to be a point, point A for uh, for sure. Um, 
definitely, uh, you know, the I, I wouldn't want to be the uh, ranking ball uh, playing against the Doomfist, uh, you know, literally just getting batted around, uh, as it looks like Bubbles recognized this as well, uh, swapped over to the Orissa for the defense. Um, and we can also notice the turtle swap over to the Ana. This is what I've been looking forward to so much. I love seeing Ana in play. I love seeing how each Ana can get value on one another. And there we go. That's that value I was talking about right there. We have turtle getting the off of Paul on the high ground. Yeah, it's a couple quick kills. Uh, definitely the <laughs> ability of the Ana really to sit up in this high ground uh, and, and literally rain down fire or the grenades or the sleep darts or whatever it, is, uh, whatever it ends up being. Uh, that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, and really, uh, the question will be, you know, how uh, Maryland is able to, to disrupt this. Uh, and how uh, Turtle and the Ana, um, in particular, really is able to respond uh, to the Doomfist, um, to the Genji. Uh, as as you see, uh, you can see the Nano Blade coming through. Uh, does come through and gets one. However, that can be is low, no more falls, and it's just a more difficult situation here. However, going back to talk about that Ana, the value of an Ana here on both teams is quite simple. We have we have anti news but both sides can really respond. Yeah, we have the Nano Horse. Nano uh, Horse coming in. That's gonna hopefully be kill him. However, and Steve Paul, Steve and this up. However, blows for blows, trading in here and out. Once the ult is being used on the side of both Bunker and the turns. Absolutely. Uh, I still think in general that was a good play from Butler uh, to, to try to keep Bubbles alive there with the Nano Boost, with the uh, the Fockney he was able to get. And again, the, that uh, Doofus kill almost was able to come through. Uh, but the effect is that they you know, now no longer have this support ultimate. Uh, the tank did end, did end up going down, and now they're pushing in uh, here past 80 meters into um, you know, this, this capture point. Uh, this is to have you know, a, a final fight here that uh, can bring on the rally. It's going to bring on the ultimate, I'm sure. Uh, but it's going to be super important here. Ooh, the order to be wild bother. gets two with both one with the dead eye and one with just regular hit there. Uh, Steve back onto the Widowmaker. Remember, I'm curious to see how this will fare against the club that Pulse is running right now. The Eraser, the Cassidy being able to challenge, the Reaper being invasive. Just a lot of factors here to look at this game. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, potentially with uh, uh, how far the payloads moved up, they feel like they, they may have more uh, distance to travel, they may have more flexibility. Uh, we see potentially a little bit of a point here, uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> Maryland's not going to let that one go uh, without a fight. As you see, uh, the Doofus kill from the uh, Cassidy um, is really you know, jumping in, but it's uh, not quite able to secure the kill on the definitely let this one go uh, as they're gonna uh, you know whisk right through here onto the point up to this um, mechanical door that has to move uh, that's definitely a, a better place to take the fight but unfortunately you know barely may not even let them uh, is to jump in right in on the Doomfist um, you know coordinating with the Widowmaker uh, this has definitely been an aggressive dive uh, that we've seen here from from Maryland uh, and the Aris is good for for defense but uh, uh, unless you're, you're really precise with your uh, abilities, really precise with your uh, crowd control and the, the answers you have to some of these kinds of heroes, as the Nano, the nano Blade comes through again. Gets uh, two there, however, Bubble is able to shut that down real fast. But if you're on the side of Bubble, you're still down two. However, we do see the swap to Sojourn here from the side of Butler with Pay and all the Sojourn. And maybe a few bolts coming from the side of Butler. However, Tony's getting a close on to that here strike. Yeah, but Absolutely, yeah, the, the soldier is definitely interesting. Uh, obviously, you know, try to build up to, to some kind of uh, uh, you know, railgun ultimate there, but uh, you know, this kind of the space and out, those kind of things are important. Uh, but we do see that the kill comes from casting, uh, you know, that's a good uh, way for Butler to kind of stiff the lead, so to speak. But uh, with that.
been handling it. He's been uh, proving that he's he's worth the uh, the support that he's getting for sure. Uh, but at the same time, uh, now it's just uh, a little bit of distance here. Uh, her bullet's got to touch. Somebody's got to touch. Three meters. There we go. Three meters going out. Meanwhile, not finding anything about that eye yet. However, we see lots of bolts almost coming out here instead of other. Siana can just live. Oh, and Pain gets two. Yeah, there's the 2K with the uh, two with the overclock. And however, those kills are traded out by Tony and Umbazor on the second see there. However, yeah, yeah, your kills, your kills at this point in the map are still uh, generally in favor of Butler. Oh, unfortunately, missed, yeah, missed the uh, power drive driver. there from Bubbles and a sleep coming from the side of Pumpkin. That looked like it should have gone. <laughs> exactly, and we have two wins. There's the Doomfist, finally goes there down. There is the Doomfist going down. We I do have the win conditions of the Nano Blade for these set of trips. However, we both the portal is coming out here for Butler here. Yeah, At least one, but the trap and cash fall. Third Nano Blade of the map. Uh, yeah, the third Nano Blade of the map has been definitely uh, uh, super effective here for Maryland. Uh, the resources that they put into uh, finally taking out the finally taking out the Doomfist, the attention that they've been uh, rightly giving him. Uh, he has allowed some of these other uh, heroes and other team moments really to, to be much more uh, unaddressed as far as I could see. Uh, really, and you can see the flat spot in the side of Butler. However, there's just too much damage to be had from all sides there, and eventually it comes in an overtime uh, three push here for the side of the Trips. Absolutely, that's the uh, uh, map completed once again there for the University of Maryland. Uh, as again, we'll switch sides. Uh, have Butler on the attack now, try to match the same thing. Um, we, we definitely saw a lot of tank variety. Uh, what was your what was your favorite look? Um, this is a hard one, but I gotta say, I I like the Doomfist. That is just an unbiased take. I like the Doom Fist. I like to see how people can get creative with it, because I know there are a lot of Doom players who have different play styles as well as the other characters. However, you can play Doom in so many different ways to where it affects the team you're playing against in different ways. However, I'm curious to see how Bubbles responds to the Doom Fist here, coming out from the side of Tony. And we can see Butler oh. hinting at the side of uh, an Echo and a soldier. Exactly. I must learn how. Yeah, it the works. Echo would definitely be interesting with the with the Mercy, um, really get out of the range of uh, what this this Doomfist has been able to do. Uh, as we do see, More it looks like it's, it is going More to come to out on defense, but alongside the Widowmaker, uh, that's going to be I your. Like uh, your your real moment of contention, uh, I think, if you're Butler uh, trying to play the Echo Mercy, um, hey and, and you know we, we still don't have a tank pick yet. I don't know what are you what are you leaning into as we see. There the it is. Come out. There it is. There it is. Winston what? Overwatch. That's all we wanted. That's all we live for. That is all we wanted, and it is a perfect pick to go against that Widowmaker coming from speed. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see it obviously uh, as well as these well interactions with the Doomfist. I'd love to see the the dive come up to try to uh, hold off those sidelines and spawn. Um, but uh, this, the orb or the orb of Discord, the Discord, uh, yeah, Discord orb uh, from Paul really just melting out that Winston. Yeah, and I am not too sure on how uh, this Mercy and all the uh, support combinations of the set of Butler will be able to sustain the Winston up. Yeah, yeah, the Mercy was good uh, when we were thinking about Echo uh, to a to extent when we were thinking about uh, Soldier 2 uh, with the Swap of the UG. We may uh, see some support changes here too before the map is over. That being said, uh, Butler is picking up a little bit of ground here. Uh, as we see the Doofus dive coming out. Uh, and he can really just uh, see the point at this point, uh, but we do see the uh, uh, Zignac kill come through as well as the Resurrection on the Soldier. Absolutely, and we saw Bubbles pick off that Zenyatta with the ball going down on the side of the turret. I would just simply just back out. That is one dead Genji. Uh, and yes, the, the Doomfist definitely uh, making the wise choice. Well, I shouldn't say that, making the wise choice to get out. However, uh, that ultimate coming out whoa. here maybe focusing the towards speed getting two, and both DPS are down to the side of Bubbles. That was a super aggressive meteor strike, I think, uh, just to get out. I didn't see the land, but uh, but yeah, in the, in the meantime, you know, the Widowmaker is able to get a couple of kills. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, the, the momentum really shifts in the favor of Maryland here. Absolutely, and I don't know if there's some sort of miscommunication, however, both of them are calling, and that miscommunication of, you know, Winston going into that to follow up on the skills or even to engage within it. However, that's the 
nano no one coming out from the side of Maryland and the Interrupt the cash gets out with his life there on the mercy. Yeah, that fight started with the Nano Doom Fist and uh, didn't improve very much. Uh, as we, we do get a little bit of a reset here, we see bubbles shifting to the uh, Ricky Ball. Uh, we see a couple support uh, ultimates coming up here online. Uh, we were able to see how uh, Bubbles was able to make this transition here into again this next um, uh, this next attack attempt. But uh, meanwhile, Speed on the, the Widowmaker really uh, being super effective. Do I see a trusted cash out there with? The Mercy Pistol in hand. I think I did, however, I would not be surprised to see a swap over here there. from the Butler supports. Especially with, with Bump switching over there. We see Pain switching over to the Tracer, and we've got the Transcendence still online here for Butler. However, getting up to two and a half volts here, practically for the side of the Terps, they've got the Solo Blade. Pump gets that 44% with that Nano Boost, and I'm doubting to see a focus yeah, we talked about the solo blade. We talked also could highlight the solo ball there. Uh, you know, the, the pincer was you know, effective, but uh, the the angles I don't think were quite there uh, from Turtle and Drop and Cash really didn't uh, provide any kind of support to the wrecking ball. Um, still hanging on to this transistance. I'm sure they would have liked to um, swap a support here by now, but uh, you know, with, with how powerful this ultimate can be, you know, it's it's uh, can be sort of a sunk cost as far as this goes. So you see the Doomfist. There's the transcendence coming out in response to the Doomfist dive. Uh, meanwhile, the payload is moving. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's not uh, super significant, but um, enough to, to get Maryland on the offense begins. We do see the Doomfist light come out. Uh, nevertheless, like three, three kills. Three kills there, and 16 seconds on the clock for Butler. However, maybe these swaps are too late. We do have a blade coming out from the side. It's going to be wild. However, Tony's got that Doomfist ultimate to be as present as possible can be for those switches. But. We sit here as Born to Be Wild gets three kills. Excellent, good job. Great with Tracer and really, we don't have to be quiet. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but, but Marilyn, Marilyn has you know one player alive, uh, and Butler is, Butler is pot three. potentially going to push this in. Uh, I, I wouldn't quite call it. Looks like we are going to see the desperate token do this. Uh, we got the mind field coming in. Uh, really, he doesn't have tons of support from his team, uh, and that is going to be a dead doom fist. Uh, and so they cap for the Butler squad there. We see a trip wow. cash swap on Samoya and Thorn of the Wild swap onto that soldier. Wow, that was that was really impressive. If we had uh, replays, I'd <laughs> try to get a replay just of, of the ways in which that fight flipped. Uh, you know, from from the attempted back cap from Bubbles uh, to the really successful Genji that we saw, uh, able to get several kills and, and really turn that fight around in an instant. Yeah, and as you can see, already doing some work on that tracer, picking out speed very very soon, and leaving the Terps with four v five practically. Yeah, now the question is, are we you know? Uh, you know, if and to what extent we're able to see more of this kind of play, uh, it would be really disruptive here if your bubbles uh, trying to get some of these heroes off the high ground. But it's like sleep. coming up from Pumpkin. Yeah, that's going to be a uh, uh, ball. It's not long for the world, I'm afraid. As we do see uh, the kill coming out there on Pain with the Tracer as well. Uh, well, it does have some extra time to play with, but it's only a minute and a half at this point cap. Uh, and uh, definitely the, the pressure is still on, make no mistake. Yep, absolutely. However, there <laughs> was an ult that came out on the side of the Terps. The Nano Boost coming out to the Doomfist, I believe it was. And the Enter coming out from Speed. There. Oh! Oh, and Tony oh. makes a mistake. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got that on stream. That's amazing. A little uh, bit of an oopsie doopsie. Never hurt anybody. And, um. Not unless you're Tony. Yeah, but, but see, the trick is, yeah, now Bubbles, yeah, we gotta capitalize on that. We get the kill on the Widowmaker. Uh, Absolutely, and the push bomb's still online here for Pain. Yeah, we, they could consider the 1v1 there against the Zinyana, but uh, think better of it, as it's uh, the Genji contesting point currently. Uh, Absolutely, but, but Turtle falls, however, in this situation, and so does Bubbles, not going to capitalize on the fact that Tony don't want to it. But it happens. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I doubt that was intentional, honestly. Uh, you see the, uh, uh, it is not an anal blade coming, but you see the dragon blade coming, getting a couple kills nevertheless. Uh, but uh, there's, there's turtle in the carry code, uh, but it's some work. Uh, so we're down again to 30 seconds. Are we going to uh, be able to see the kind of, uh, you know, the similar kind of uh, hero play we saw already? Maybe. We see Turtle Cash trying to build up that nano for the nano blade on foot combination, and Bubbles gets Lucko woken up. That transcendence comes out, however, will he get out with his life here? Pain made a dream, and that nano is going. That nano's not going to be going anywhere in the set of Bubbles with the Turtle Cash falling. The Cine Rush does come out. Yeah, we see the 
two, you actually see the meteor strike, we see the Ana going down. Uh, you know, the, the point continues to move, but really this Doofus has got to go uh, with that uh, over harmony on it. It's, it's really uh, difficult to try to make that transition fully, but uh, Bones is able to zone out this, this uh, Zenyatta that can really be effective. Absolutely, at all times, as it looks like uh, it continues to move. Uh, I can just see where the dude goes. Like, okay, he's testing again. Uh, he's able to actually kill Kiriko. Uh, Paul's Paul's go good. Antibes coming there up on the side of Intrepid okay. Cash. Goodness that's, gracious. That's point two. Another another point captured here just by the skin of their teeth. We've got a minute and a half now to push it through the end. Uh, but again, uh, Her or not Harrisburg, Maryland uh, had no uh, time bank either. Uh, you know, so they, they could uh, you know continue to to make this even if they're able to push through. Uh, but they will be stopped here at this automated door. Uh, really, the the ultimates keep rolling through. Uh, we're gonna see the nano uh, come up from both sides. We have the pull bomb, um, and before uh, before Miller makes it to the end of the map, there's gonna be several uh, more Maryland ultimates to contend with. Um, so uh, diligent management is crucial to see the nano ones coming through. Uh, you know, not uh, quite able to to find any specific kill, uh, but immediately Hanzo that gets isolated here, not quite as able to escape over the wall. Absolutely, I mean, to the wall to that also arrow from the side of the And for the high carrier, you're going to be able to especially with that Ana online to the side of the arrow. You, you don't want to be in that range of the instrument in there, especially the here, you not alive, however, that cleanse us goes through. Yeah, you don't want to be in the range of the Antonade, you don't want to be with dragons either. Uh, the Trevor Cash finds out the hard way, but, uh, you know, 20 seconds, this has got to be the reset fight for Butler. Uh, you know, Bubbles, get out, uh, you know, uh, take as little damage as possible, uh, and be ready to, to jump it. With 10 seconds left, this is going to be the last fight. This is the fight that keeps Butler alive in this series. Absolutely. However, how will they counter the three holds online here for the side of Maryland? And almost to consume their right seconds. side. Yeah, just immediately killed there on the point. Uh, the meteor strike comes through. Genji goes down. Uh, Turtles the only one left. Paint there on the tracer uh, also will fall, and that's the team kill. And that, and that's the map. That was a very close one, uh, and and one that arguably Butler should have lost several times before they finally did, uh, in a good way. Uh, I will wait till the camera comes back so I can say it again in a good <laughs> way. Um, as we see the uh, play of the game come out there for Cassidy. Uh, that was the map I've been waiting for online. Absolutely. It was really nice to see both sides kind of just back and neck with each other and going up against each other in a way that it kept the game alive for the whole entire time. It had us on the edge of our seats, so I'm not going to lie. Absolutely. This is me saying again, it was a close <laughs> one in a good way. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why that was so important, but I had to emphasize it. Um, Absolutely. What a match. What a match, indeed. I saw a lot of promise there from the side of Butler, um, and I'm really excited to see how they just fare out for the rest of the season with the upcoming matches coming up and everything like that. But close ones, indeed. Both hard-fought match on both sides, honestly. Absolutely. Uh, they say it all the time, uh, you know, uh, it could be argued, you know, make yourself feel better. But really, I would legitimately say uh, definitely a, a closer match than the scoreline implies here. Um, lots of uh, really close fights that really, really could have gone either way that, uh, you know, you could identify the decided each round. Um, uh, really, really of each map. Um, and some, some really good highlights that uh, Butler's definitely going to look back uh, on and learn from, but also to celebrate. Um, as that does bring us to the end of uh, tonight's match. This, uh, obviously, like we talked about, week five of this round robin series uh, as uh, the University of Maryland advances to 5-0 and uh, here in the division, uh, Butler to 2-3. and three. Uh, We will be back very soon, actually, on Thursday night. Uh, we'll Absolutely. be uh, bringing you another Overwatch broadcast. Uh, do you want to give everybody the good news? Good news, everyone. Um... So as you have heard, maybe if you follow us on our uh, social media platforms, the NACE uh, Grand Finals will be held here in the Butler Esports Park um, on April 29th through the 30th. Grand Finals, here. Oh, yeah.
Very good ex- news. <laughs> very exciting. Uh, I was referring to uh, much sooner good news, uh, which is that we'll be back uh, very soon on Thursday. Uh, bring, <laughs> bring you another match. Uh, Jump in the gun a little bit. This time, Butler against Radford University uh, in uh, week six competition. Uh, moved a little bit early for spring break. Um, and that you'll be playing in it. Absolutely. I'll so. <laughs> see you on the other side of this field here, the Butler Esports Park. Absolutely. So that's what I was referring to. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we got a Rocket League stream tonight, or excuse me, tomorrow night as well. Um, uh, I believe that's a Big East matchup, um, but it'll be it'll be very exciting to see. Um, I believe that's about all we have tonight. Uh, we just, uh, if you're you know Overwatch fan watching, uh, they just started uh, Twitch Twitch drops again, a new wave of Twitch Twitch drops. Um, so maybe you earned some even from watching uh, tonight's game here as we played Overwatch two. Um, it's good stuff. I think it's time to say goodnight. It is, in fact, the time to say goodnight. I hope everybody had a fun time watching the stream, and I hope everybody has a good night in gen- just general. That's about it. <laughs> From the Butler Esports Park, I'm Joker Patrick. I'm Jackie Savnell. And yes, goodnight, everybody. Goodnight, everybody.